Kylie roasts Kendall Jenner over her viral cucumber cutting incident, and we find out how Kendall really feels about the whole thing. That and so much more in today's show. What is up you guys? It's your girl Susan Morad and today it's going to be just you and I. So kicking things off, are sisters really sisters if they don't roast each other? Feels amazing on my skin. While the famous families have been sharing snippets of the glamorous Dolce & Gabbana-esque wedding extravaganza of Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker in Portofino, Italy, Kylie Jenner decided she wanted to take the opportunity to roast her sister Kendall during the lavish affair. And I'm just gonna say, if you thought Kylie didn't have a sense of humor, think again. Normal is very boring. Kylie took her first sisterly dig by sharing this hilarious video of Kendall attempting to walk up some narrow stairs in her floor length fitted gown. <laughs> These stairs are crazy. The struggle is real. But it was this TikTok and caption that Kylie shared of the two sisters dancing it up for the camera that sent me into absolute hysterics. <laughs> Kylie wrote, me and cucumber girl. <laughs> I can't. And based on the comments on her TikTok, the internet felt the same about Kylie's roast. It all started when a clip of Kendall from a recent episode of The Kardashians went viral of Kenny attempting to cut a cucumber. While I can explain this all to you, nothing quite hits like seeing it for yourself. Just gonna chop up some cucumber. It's pretty okay. easy. There you go, girl. Be careful, because I, I nicked myself the other day. I know, I'm kind of scared. There you go. Uh, guys, I can't tell you how many times I watched this, just trying to figure out the thought process here. The viral moment spawned hundreds of memes and thousands of online reactions, with many people pointing to Kendall's privilege and claiming that this video made it clear that Kendall has never cut a cucumber before. Let's not forget how Chris just watched on after Kendall admitted to the camera that she's not a good cutter before giving us this. Hey, chef. Do you want to cut this up for her? I'll do it, Mom. It's fine. It's fine. Wow, we really do live in very different realities. While Kendall also poked fun at herself and the moment going viral on Twitter with a simple tragic, thanks to a new interview Khloe Kardashian did on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast, we now know how Kendall really feels about the whole cucumber cutting incident and what happened behind closed doors. Oh my God, she's like not happy about I know, that. I, I feel saw. Chloe went on to share that with everything Kendall has going for her, she's bound to have some kind of flaw. I'm like, Kendall, God is fair. You're the most beautiful <laughs> human being in the world. You have wild looking toes, God bless, <laughs> and you can't cut a f***ing cucumber. The world is good because she's like, Freaking how out. can you be this perfect. She has the perfect life, this perfect dog. She's a gazelle of a human being. Yeah. She walks the runway. She's like all these amazing yeah. things. You can't cut a f***ing cucumber. Listen, if that's your only downfall in life, I'd say you're doing pretty well. Does Kenny really need a reminder of all the biggest controversies and scandals her family's been through over the years? She's the least exciting to look at. Circling back to Coco's interview, she went on to share that she's up for the challenge of teaching Kendall how to cut a cucumber before admitting that she too was confused. Please come over and stay with me for one week. Let's see if <laughs> she'll really cry herself a river. Fair. I'm gonna teach her how to cut a cucumber. Well, you I failed. just was confused you, you, where, <laughs> like why it was positioned this yeah. way, but. We don't know. We don't know, we don't know I till this her. day. She's so perfect. Look, Kendall, I am more than happy to rise to this challenge and I'm no chef and God knows I am terrible in the kitchen, but I can certainly help you master the art of cutting a cucumber. And while this viral video did highlight just how different our lives are from the Car Jenners, and mainly just how rich and privileged Kendall is, being that as an adult, she doesn't know how to cut a cucumber. The reality is, like it or not, she will probably never have to cut a cucumber in her entire life if she didn't want to. But it's all good, Kenny. If that's your flaw, you're still doing amazing, sweetie. Kim, you're doing program. amazing, push sweetie. This, push this. And the bright side is, you were repping an 818 sweater for the viral moment. Like we always say, the devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder. Speaking of mama bear Kris, can we just take a moment to reflect on how her instinct was to step in and show her daughter how to properly cut a cucumber 
I mean, she even has her own In the Kitchen with Chris cookbook, but rather she called out to the chef to cut it up for her. Kudos to Kendall who was still intent to give it a shot. And finally, a shout out to Kylie for sharing this Cucumber Girl reference in her post. I guess she just confirmed that the Cargenas really do see a lot of what gets shared online, which has me so curious about what their For You pages look like. Here are five other major entertainment news stories you need to know. Liam Payne and Maya Henry have ended their engagement. It all went down after a fan tagged Maya in photos of Liam with his arms around another girl, which prompted her to comment, this is not me and it's hard enough knowing this has happened without seeing it. Enough now. This is the second time they've broken up in three years. Good news, our girl Selena Gomez is working on a new album. It's happening. It's happening. Cell revealed to Deadline's Crew Call podcast. I am in LA working on my album now. And she added that while it's not on the top of her priority list, she's open to the possibility of touring after this new album. It's a very stressful conversation. I know, I know. I'm not even thinking about I know. it. We'll keep you updated on further details like release dates when she announces them. But Cell, don't take too long. We're waiting for for you. Khloe Kardashian kind of stood up for Tristan Thompson despite their rocky past. Khloe told Amanda Hirsch on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast that she has no drama with Tristan Thompson. She added that he's still a good person, just not a good partner with me. Sadie Singh said Stranger Things, say that three times, actually prepared her to star in Taylor Swift's all too well shot film. Doing season four really kind of helped prep me for that in a way, just like having more like emotional scenes like that and being like vulnerable on screen. And finally, Olivia Rodrigo was spotted at the Harry's House pop-up in LA. Fans shared their snaps with her at a spot where they could take pics with a Harry mural and shop Harry's merch. One commenter said, she was just passing by and didn't go in. But what an exciting surprise for fans waiting in those super long lines for the event. I drove past the Harry's House pop-up on the day it opened and there were lines and lines of people all the way down the road. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.